Hi, I'm Dennis Du. Hi, I'm Daniel Hedick. And hello, I'm Adam Swartz. And we're all from Grand Forks Central High School in Grand Forks, North Dakota. And today we've created the Adventures of Bobby the Businessman. As for instructions, you use the mouse to navigate the menus, W and S to move your character. You press the space bar to fire projectiles. You can press P to pause the game, M to return back to the main menu. And then the escape key is used to exit the game. Um, as for settings, you can toggle the background music on and off. So here's the background music. But we'll be having that off today for demonstration purposes. Uh, you can also toggle the instructions, showing the instructions for the last level. But we'll also be having that one on uh, as we demonstrate the game today. All right. So that background music was composed by Dennis. And the characters and the models in this game were developed and created by us, but we had to borrow some images. They were all free and their sources are linked here. So onto the game. So as you can see, uh, the first level is space and we chose to do this because each level, uh, each of the four levels is going to represent one of the four key pillars of FBLA, that being future, business, leadership, and America. And we chose space for this uh, to represent future because space is often considered the final frontier of exploration. And as we go into the future, we're going to experience more of space. You can see coming up ahead is a man in a cage. When you collect that man, you get an extra life and th there'll be a man following you indicating that you have that extra life. So when you hit one of those bad guys, um, you lose a life. So that'll be signified by you just losing one of the men following you. And those extra lives also give you extra points. So when you hit, when you shoot one of those enemies with your projectiles, you get more points if you have more lives. And you just have to keep avoiding those, those enemies um, because when they run into you, then you lose a life. But if you let them go, it's fine. You don't need to shoot every one of them. So each of the enemies is a little demon and we chose to have them be demons in order to represent fighting your own inner demons in order to progress throughout life. And then another piece of symbolism is that uh, your character is constantly moving towards the right, much like how for you to be successful, you have to keep moving forward towards the future. At the end of each level, we have a little inspirational message that fits with the theme of the level. For this level, the message is every successful journey starts with looking towards the future. So as you can see for this next level, it's a standard uh, office environment. And we chose to do this because offices are a key to running a business for most businesses. And offices are a daily basis thing. You keep going back to the office every single day. And that repetitiveness is kind of how we show that uh, for you to be successful, you have to keep showing up to do the work. And as you can also see, the business card is a representative also of business because for you to be successful in a business you have to market yourself and spread your name out there much like how the businessman throws his business cards and this level goes faster than the previous one so that's how we made this level harder and this this level also has its inspiring message that message being uh, success doesn't come to you if you don't put in the work uh, reflecting how you need to show up to work every day so for this third level we chose to have it be an fbla rally and the imagery we we're trying to reflect is a superhero flying above a crowd of civilians and we chose to have this represent leadership because leaders are kind of superheroes in their own way in the way that they have to lead people and they have to be put to held to a higher standard than everyone else and much like superheroes are also held to that standard another way that the the leadership is shown in this game is in the F extra life mechanic so when you get extra lives uh it helps you because much like how being a leader you uh it helps you by scoring more points so you would think that it's always a good thing but being a leader also comes with its costs and having extra lives in this game, it's hard to maintain them because the more lives you have, the more businessmen you have to protect and uh, like keep under your, uh, lead them on onwards. So it's harder to lead them all. And this level also has its own inspiring message at the end. Uh, that message being that uh, every successful business has a great leader.
So for the fourth and final level, we have uh, a battle against Karl Marx, uh, a battle against communism. So as you can see, uh, Karl Marx is challenging you to an FBLA knowledge battle, and then it gives you the instructions. Uh, if you had unchecked the box at the beginning of the game, that message box would not have shown up giving you the instructions. It would have simply just said, Karl Marx is challenging you to a battle. And as you can see, it prompts you with the question. Once you get it right, you can match the space bar in order to push back the Soviet flag. And if you get the question wrong, uh, then the Soviet flag starts overtaking you. So one, if the Soviet flag completely overtakes the American flag, you lose the game. If you completely overtake the Soviet flag, you win the game. As you can see, he beat Karl Marx. And it sh uh, as you can see on the victory screen, it shows you your final score. And you can return to the main menu or just directly restart. And we're going to play again to show you what happens if you lose. So as you can see, he has one life. Now he has zero after he ran into it. And it shows you your final score and what level you ended on. And so we'll quit out of that. So we made our code using Visual Basic because that's a language that we're all very familiar with. And one of the main components of our game is this timer that you see right here. Um, that timer ticks every 10 milliseconds. So the code inside runs continuously, moving all your game objects uh, in the direction that we programmed them to. And also, also there's hit detection parts. So when objects are hitting each other, uh, we take actions based on what hit other things. Yeah, so that was the adventures of Bobby the Businessman. We hope you were entertained. We hope you learned a little bit about FBLA. And thank you for your time.